Hello and welcome back to another screenshot reveal overview video analysis whatever you want to call that. Welcome. Uh, today we're going to look at two screenshots. Frontier actually gave us two things to look at and they are actually at a, going at a pace that is pretty impressive because that means we are getting even more stuff until next Tuesday. So today we have the Red Hawk, a Red River Hawk. As you can tell uh, from this wonderful picture in front of us, we've seen this already in another pretty detailed screenshot. Um, as of now, this thing looks a lot more nice than... Uh, I, you know, I thought it looks nice. I already said that. This is not my favorite, but it's fine. People seem to go crazy about this animal. Um, I still haven't finally understood why, but it's okay. You know, I like animals that other people don't like. But what I gotta say, though, is this this seems to be one of the best models we've seen in the game of any animal. Um, absolutely fantastic. The detail of it, the, you know, overall, like, look at the look at the crest here on the nose pattern, on the skull, and this ear, and also with this little flickering thing on the ear as well, with this, these little, how's this called, like, with the hairs in here? I know that they have a specific name, but I forgot. But then also, like, the beard hair kind of here and ab above the eye, and the model is really cool. We even have this little tiny, um, <laughs> almost Iro kind of, uh, you know, styled um, in the middle here. It, it's really looking um, fantastic. A, a, a pretty fantastic animal. Also, I'm very interested in, in what type of uh, shader they're using to make this interesting looking, um, yeah, shading, I should say. It's, it's basically, it's the fur, but the fur has some differences in here. So we've got the very fluffy fur, but then again, this looks to be a bit more stiff and strong. Uh, very interesting. I, I really think this is um, a very interesting model when it comes to the variety of what they can do with the textures and stuff like that. It's looking pretty, pretty damn good. And uh, again, this is a testament to Frontier becoming better and better with every DLC. Um, it's almost a shame to put these animals next to the original game animals, uh, the OG animals most likely do not even remotely match up to uh, to those um, that we get in the game now, which is, you know, um, something that isn't too bad because at the end it is always important, you know, that they get better. It, it wouldn't be good if they didn't, right? So that's really fantastic. Anyways, there's not really that much more to speak about. Uh, uh, oh my god, I didn't want to get here already. I want to go here in the background. There is, seems to be like a little bit of a new plant. I love this one with these uh, little tiny bit, this, bits here going up. Um, but other than that, there's nothing in particular we haven't talked about. This palm tree over here looks to be new as well. But uh, other than that, this is good. Let's go to the next picture then. And oh boy, looks this looks fantastic. And I got to say that this is one of the uh, one of the most realistic looking pictures that Planet Zoo themselves have released. I know that you know many creators have have done some fantastic stuff with Tejet Cam back in the day, but also now with photo mode and all these kind of things. But the lighting and everything in here looks so freaking cool. And this is the um, Asian water monitor. I don't really have too much to say about this animal. It looks really uh, like, a, like a perfect mixture between the Nile monitor and the Komodo dragon. It looks like, you know, from body type, it's looking a lot closer to the Nile monitor while the uh, uh, overall scales and how the whole body kind of looks and weights, it's almost like the Komodo dragon. Um, but I like it. I like a lot that we get another reptile. I like a lot that we get another diving animal because it is confirmed that this thing can do the deep dive, uh, which is not a given because we know that um, it took a while until the Nile Monitor finally could do it. So uh, yeah, it's good that this animal can finally do it. But then again, there's yet nothing else to speak about. I'm not sure if this is from a new plant over here, but it's so hard to tell because it's blurred out so much that I don't really want to read too much into it. It can be any plant, to be honest. Um, yeah, and that's that. There's really not too much to talk about other than this model looks really fantastic. One tiny detail maybe um, is the, the little coloring here on the nose. I think it is. it belongs to it. I was briefly thinking about the fact that maybe after eating some, some meat they might have a little bit of a a texture like that which vanishes away exactly like snow and you know water and dirt that would be cool but I, I think it's not I think it's just part of the part of the skin but yeah that's that I just really again as I said not really that much more to talk about so we shouldn't make this video any longer than it needs to be and here's me saying goodbye have a good time thank you so much and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're done talk to you next one goodbye.